Hey y'all, just some more kayak catfish. I'm back out on the river today to do some more catfishing. Now, since my last video, which was filmed last week, conditions have kind of changed out here uh, on the river. Now, in my last video, I was fishing the Clinch River. And I was there because TVA's been pushing so much current through the Tennessee River that I thought some fish may move up there into the Clinch. But even out there, the current, the amount of flow that was going through there kind of took me by surprise. I actually needed some heavier sinkers than what I had with me that day to really be able to fish effectively, as you all saw there if you watched. So uh, since then, you know, here we are a week later, the flow has increased even more. And you can see here, maybe you can tell on the water, the picture quality of the camera, but the water here is just chocolate milk. It's just, they're just moving so much water through. Our river's just kind of blown out. So today, I'm back on the Tennessee River, but I'm at the top of a river bend here. And I'm fishing off this point here behind me, and I'm kind of tucked just kind of to the inside of the main channel. So I'm kind of out of that flow but I'm right there close to it and I'm kind of in this little pocket here. So uh, I'm gonna just basically kind of fish the same way you saw in my last video. I'm anchored down and I'm just gonna drop my baits down directly on this point. Like I said, I'm, I'm right here on this point. I'm right here kind of at the deepest part of this point. So I'm hoping, my hope is anyway, that some fish maybe will move up in here to this pocket to feed. There's been some birds back here I noticed on the way out here feeding on shad so I'm hoping as fish move out of the main channel here to maybe get out of that that heaviest current that they're dealing with they're gonna come here and my baits are gonna be the first thing that they're gonna see now bait today is you know kind of limited I've got some fresh bluegill and I've got some frozen skipjack and I'm just gonna kind of play with that just kind of rotating in and out of rods here to see you know what's gonna be the most effective I'm probably not gonna fish too long today probably four four and a half hours it's about two o'clock now you know it's getting dark around 5 36 so i'm gonna fish till just a little past dark uh this evening unless the bite's just on fire but uh that's my plan for today i'm just gonna like i said soak some baits man the conditions aren't ideal but you get a day like today where it's cold that's gonna hopefully keep the pleasure boaters off the water the water color is chocolate milk so hopefully that's gonna keep the bass boaters off the water so I'm hoping to have this place to myself today, and maybe we'll look into a fish on top of that. So let me get baited up, we'll get to it. Got me some kitchen shears here, just to cut the, the top fin of those bluegill off. Sometimes I feel like that interferes with getting a good hook set. Those kitchen shears work out really well. There's the first one, just a chunk of bluegill there, body section. I'm gonna drop it straight down under me. Suspend it a couple feet off the bottom. The second bait, just a chunk of skipjack. Drop it down, do the same thing, just a couple feet off the bottom. Just basically a half a bluegill there with some slits cut in the side again same thing just drop it down suspend it I'm gonna sit here on this point I'm gonna live or die by it here today I'm gonna put my whole time in out here I'm gonna make myself sit out here on this thing so even if there's not fish here right now I suspect fish may move in and out of here as time goes by Fishing. Right here, guys. Let's see. There he goes. There he goes. He's on there. He's on there. Got us a fish on. This one ate the uh, skipjack body chunk. Let's see if we can get this. water a little over an hour now I've had a just a couple pecks here and there probably dink fish you know small blues or channel cats none of them soaked up till this one
action's been limited, but on a positive note, I have had the place to myself out here today, which is nice. All right, guys, there he is. Why don't you look at that fish right there? He's got mud all up the side of him. He's probably just been buried in it down there. <laughs> Let's let him go. Get on out of here. Take his grandpa on a visit from him. Alright, let me bait that rod up and we'll drop it back down. Oh, I think we finally got another one on, y'all. There we go. He was a lot better. I didn't feel him thump it. I felt the kayak moving. <laughs> Thankful to hook into one, I'll tell you that. It's been a slow day out here. Other than a few dink taps. Just been that one other fish in this one, so. This one don't feel too bad. It ain't a bad fish. He's gonna take off on me. He's going to take off. This one ate the uh, skipjack too. This is a skipjack head. I only brought one skipjack with me today. And so I put a body chunk on earlier because I was saving the head until well, right about now when it starts to, to, uh, to get dark. But, I had some dinks strip off the other body chunk I put on after I caught that last fish, so I went ahead and put the head on. But I was hoping right here, you know, a little before dark, maybe a little after dark, a good blue would come along and eat that head. Just kind of taking my time with him here. I need to get out there and put some time into catching some fresh baits. And, uh, get some more skipjack, but this time of year work schedule ramps up. I don't have much time to fish, and so the time I do have, I want to be out here catfishing. But I do need to put in some time to get bait because it is getting. I'm at the bottom of my freezer. It's a good fish. Hood off. Got my head back. Heck yeah. All right. Oh, come on up here, you fat thing. Look at that. <laughs> Not a bad fish, man. You can see this one. He's got mud all up inside of his tail, too. He just been down there on the bottom too, but like I said, the way I've positioned myself here, right on the deepest part of this point, kind of out of the current, I was hoping some fish would maybe move up in here into this pocket, like I said, these, these been shad up in here, you see the birds back in there, so I thought I'll either get fish coming in this area, or any fish that's been up there feeding, I'll get them on the way out. We got this in here, not bad man, not a bad fish. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do what we do on these fish. Let's let them go. Get this old camera going here. See you, buddy. It was fun. We'll do it again someday. All right. Well, I got my skipjack head back, so I'm gonna drop it back down. Maybe we'll get another. Well, there ain't much left of that head, but it dinks of about shredded it, but I'm gonna drop it back down. I ain't got nothing to lose. I ain't got not one thing to lose by putting it down there. There goes one. There goes one on the body chunk of bluegill. Catch up with him. There he is. 
<laughs> oh, buddy, now it's going to take off too now. Yeah, buddy. All right, here we go. Business is picking up all of a sudden. This one ate the bluegill body chunk. You know, I ain't never been this type of fisherman, y'all, this type of cat fisherman that can just sit on a spot and wait and wait and wait. I'm always thinking about, man, even today, you know, I'm out here I'm like, gosh, the time I've been out here, I could have done fish four or five different spots. But I can't argue with the success I've had. My last few trips out where I've just picked what I think is going to be a productive structure and just sat on it and just waited. And uh, I've been getting some good fish lately doing this. wet now that cold water. Alright. Lose the hook. Let's hold him up here. Cutting right there ain't too bad either y'all. <laughs> you know we're getting right here right around dusk and uh, getting a little bit more active. We're getting some movement of these fish. This thing talking to us. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. See ya, buddy. He gone. I'm gonna put me another bluegill body chunk on there, and we'll do it again if we can. All right, guys. Well, it's time for me to go. You know, today was another one of those days where the quantity was limited, but the quality. You know, I got that one pretty good fish there. Plus, that other one wasn't too bad either. So, I really can't complain. You know, would I have done better if I had hit multiple spots out here instead of just kind of camping out on this one spot? Uh, you know, who knows? That's a million dollar question. I think the better question to ask would be, would I have done better today if I'd had some better quality bait? And the answer to that is most probably yes. But, uh, you know, it just is what it is. It's just the time of year. I'm thankful for any fish I can get because like I've said before in other videos, I'm not a good wintertime fisherman. I've never been able to really get on a consistent pattern where I can go out every single day and catch fish like I can in the you know the spring and, and late summer months there so uh, thankful for the fish I got but unfortunately it is time for me to go I'll see y'all next week thanks for watching